Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Hodgson and I teach 6th grade in Western Massachusetts which is on the east coast of the United States and I'm also a member of the National Writing Project in the United States. Um, and I want to talk today about our work with the Connected Learning uh, MOOC experience over the last couple of years, particularly the way that uh, emergent ideas kind of arrived from the participants of the community itself uh, and not really planned from people who are facilitating like myself. And one of the most interesting pieces, I think, is that as we were trying to design an open learning experience is that we had ideas that we put out there into the community, particularly in that first year. And uh, the participants who were in there took their own direction and created projects and inspired each other that veered off significantly from the kind of things that we were expecting they would do. In fact, we like to make the joke that in our first kind of make cycle, the first uh, CL MOOC, uh, we were hoping that people would do podcasts, and really, just about nobody did. Um, instead, they did all sorts of other things using Vine and other apps and photos and all sorts of really interesting projects that we had not planned for. Um, yet, we saw them as emergent design. In other words, the participants are the ones that had the agency more than the facilitators, and we as facilitators, we just follow their lead. I think that makes a difference between the kind of connected uh, MOOCs that we're talking about as opposed to the kind of very planned, kind of course-like uh, graduate level classes that are thrown onto the web and fall into this banner of MOOC. Um, the idea that participants can take ownership and agency, I think, is really powerful uh, in a lot of ways. And so the kinds of things that we were trying to track around the projects uh, made it very difficult for us as facilitators because uh, we really didn't have much control of what was going on. I think for some people that might be uh, discomforting, but for us, we quickly realized that that was a powerful energy and it really created the kind of ethos of the whole kind of CLMO community that has stretched out now into, you know, four years, five years later. So emergent ideas are something that you plan for by creating fertile ground and allow for or the participants to take action and create whatever they need to create. And then as facilitators, you run with it. Thanks.